Every minute of every day, someone calls for help from a paramedic. Their job is to bring order out of chaos, stabilise the victim and transport them to hospital. A night in the life of a paramedic providing help. The biggest problem with this job is that um, you go to shit during the day, things, whether they, you know, maybe some of it's bad, but you don't, you, you've got all your mates around you during the day, like you're at the station, you can talk about it. When you close your bedroom door at night and you're laying in bed on your own and you're staring up at the ceiling and you're thinking about things that happened during the day, I'm sure that's the when issues would crop up. Because you've got that support structure around you during the day, you've got other ambos around you, haven't you? And um, a lot of the, a lot of people wouldn't want to be seen. You know, they might see showing your emotions, say, as as a sign of weakness or something. Um, and of course, it's not. Um, but you have to control your emotions, don't you? There's no good us going to something that's really bad as an emergency and standing there crying with the crowd. Like we, you're expected to act and do stuff, but people often don't realise or they forget or they and consider that the person wearing the uniform has got the same emotions as them. You're a human being just like them. And so you have to bottle up your emotions at the time. And I think you need an outlet for it, don't you? Thank you, Responder 1. We've got an elderly lady lying on the ground, unconscious, not breathing. Query code 2. Where are we going, love? Right up top. Okay. Normal place around near the office? Yes. Okay. She's highly stressed. She'll need a ambulance by the time she gets up here. Where are we in here? In here. Hello. How long has she been down there? Oh. Now you move back out the way for me. Let me have a look. How old is she? 79. Is this your wife, sir? Partner. Your partner, okay. Okay, sir, she's she's passed away. The, the, there's nothing that we can do at this stage. Yeah, yeah. You know, yeah, okay. But she just once she was so hot, she had her breakfast, I gave her a breakfast. Okay. All right, where's her bed? In there. In there, okay. Well, what we'll do is we'll get her off the floor in a moment and get her into bed, okay? Oh, well, right, and then, do you have a family doctor? Yes, I have, yeah. yeah. Can you get me that doctor's number so I can speak yes. to that doctor? Yeah. Want a cup of tea? A yeah, cup of tea's good. Put the jug on. Yeah. Has the doctor seen her recently? Yes, uh, on Monday. For anything like heart or something? Oh, no, just to come and check up. Check She's got out. oxygen here, though. She... OK. 24 hours. And what's the lady's name, Mrs...? Mac Martin. Yeah, hello. It's, uh, my name's Norm from the Ambulance Service. Could you put me through to Dr McDonald, please? I'm with her now. Yes, yeah, she's just passed away. We need to know whether we can get certificates and things like that from the doctor. Thank you. Bye. Bob? Yeah. Did you want to sit in with her for a little while? Yes, I'll do Okay, it. I'll put a chair in there. There we go. You can sit in there and hold a hand. You're a bit upset. It's okay. It's okay to be upset. How long have you worked here? Oh, I think it was uh, uh, this coming here. I've only this is only my third time. Oh really? So I'm only new here. Yeah. Okay, but you're not sort of used to but all this sort of. No, no, oh. no. I don't often have people passing. Away no. Me. Well, they do here. I've been here a couple of times oh, before. Right. She's she's I've gone. Been. She's gone peacefully. So the doctor will be about twenty she minutes. The same bed. She, she really couldn't stand. Mm -hmm. oh. She stood on Monday, so. Yeah. But every day she was getting weaker. Are you going to be all right here on your own? Yes, I'll be all right. For a little while. I can stay. All right, sir. I'm sorry to have to meet you under these circumstances. OK, my friend. Yeah. Thank you very much. All right, well, you go and have a sit with her. If you have any problems, any health problems or anything like that, yeah. just call Triple O straight away and we'll come dashing back. But the doctor's going to be here in a few minutes. OK. OK, you're all going to be fine? Yeah. Have your cup of tea. Thank you. 
Okay, okay darling. Okay. Enjoy your cup of tea. Bye bye. Responder one. Thank you. Cancel the car altogether. A Dr. McDonald from North Rocks will be issuing the appropriate paperwork. We'll be clear in a few minutes. Immediately prior to this, I worked in local government. So I was building roads, concrete, footpaths, plumbing, that sort of stuff. Certainly a lot of people do that. They, they jump from trades to the ambulance service. So, yeah, it's not uncommon at all. Thank you, 963. We've got an elderly Asian man with severe chest pain. Language may be a problem there. 963, copy that. Thanks, mate. Um, Candyvale Road, second left. First right. First right. Hello. Where's our patient? I'm here. Mm -hmm. Hello. Does someone speak English? You do. Okay, what's the problem tonight? Yeah, has he got chest pain now? Yes. Yeah? What time did the chest pain start? About 10 minutes ago. 10 minutes ago? Okay. Has he seen a doctor about this pain? He just uh, discharged from Fairfield Hospital today because he wants to go home, so... Oh, he discharged yeah, himself? Yes, yeah, yeah, so... 150. Uh, he has a uh, heart disease and uh, kidney problem. Okay. Yeah. We're just going to put some dots on his chest. What's Jeff he saying? Pen, he pen now. Yeah, okay. Mm. Is he allergic to anything at all? I uh, know. I'm just going to give him a tablet to eat. Just yes. tell him to chew this I tablet up. Do, Open your eyes. Hello. Mum, mum. Here. Mum here. Stry's bone. Mm. Very dry. He does have a bottle of red frog. Tell him to eat that tablet. Chew, eat. No, he can't eat. Why? We'll just give him a sip of water because he's very dry and this tablet won't dissolve. That's it. Just a sip. Okay. Is that tablet gone? Finished? Okay. We're just going to pop this tablet under his tongue and it just dissolves. That's it. And just let it melt. Okay. Just tell him what we're doing. We'll just we're lose some of those. Can we lose a jumper while he's up? That's it. Good luck. Okay. Why did he leave Fairford Hospital? Because he wants. Because he wants to. Yes. Because he preferred to Liverpool Hospital. Ah, uh, the hat. How is his pain now? Less or the same? Can you ask him? That's fine. One, two, three. I will swap hats. Yep. She's a translator, I'll put her in the back. Is that tablet under his tongue gone now? Finish? Gone? Yeah. Okay. At the moment, the best hospital we can go to is Fairfield, that is not that busy. So we might just take him up to Fairfield Hospital. He doesn't like the uh, Fairfield Hospital. Yeah. Why does he like the hospital for? He is uh, Chinese, yeah. so he believes the... Uh, he believes the, the direction. The direction? The direction, yeah. Where Fairford Hospital is? Yes. Oh, all right. So it's a cultural thing. Yeah. Yeah. Yes, yes. Yes. Yeah. Just the doors. A bit cold. Liverpool? He doesn't like um, Fairford Hospital because it's a cultural thing. Apparently, the direction that Fairford Hospital is placed. Bad um, front um, and, and Yeah. Go to Liverpool, James. Okay. Are you going to put that in as the overriding reason? Fun <laughs> Shui. That's the first time I've heard that about like Fairford Hospital, where it's placed. That's why he did discharge himself yesterday. Obviously, we're going to bring more distress to him if we take him back to Fairford. And you know, he's just probably going to discharge him again. We're going to be back where where we started from. So why don't we just take him to Liverpool and uh... okay. any doll? Doll? Gone. Oh, no. Finish. Yeah. Beautiful.
Sadly, our patient died two days later from cardiac-related problems. I guess my worst jobs, yeah, there's a lot of them. You do a couple that have been married for 60 years and one of them passes away. I mean, that's, it's not tragic, but it's sad. Um, you know, they've been together for a long time. Um, yeah, so that, that's sad. Kids, you know, SIDS, young people being seriously injured or, or killed, it, that's sad, that's tragic. People, when their time is up too early, Whereabouts? Yeah, whereabouts were you? You're crossing uh, over right here. Right about there. All right. And which way was the car coming around? This way? Uh, went that way. Went that way. Mm. All right. Did it knock you onto the road? Uh, no, it shook me up a bit. Okay. Did you bump your head at all? No, luckily. Yeah. Can you tell us what time, what day it is today? What uh, day of the week? It's Friday. Terrific. What month? Uh, uh, or possibly Saturday. All right. Take a big deep breath for us, mate. No pain when you do that. No, it's all good. No pain in your neck here. It's all right. None okay. in your back. Oh, I've got to do this. We've got to do this. We've no, got, it's fine. Got to go I'm all through it. It's all, all right. right. All right. No pain in your back at all. It's all good. Okay. Lift your knee. Nine six five for a report. Good. That one's good. I oh, know. We're just going. Being thorough here. Press down. Sixty five. One pedestrian here. Pain in this side. Pressure in the right. A bit. Whereabouts? Uh, the ankle. The, the ankle. ankle's no good. Anywhere else? No, it's all good. Can you bend your knee? All right. Good. Now, did you walk? Did you walk on? I walked from about two thirds away over there when I got hit and went, <laughs> I'm such a dickhead, and walked but over here. Am I safe to take your shoes yeah, off? Yeah, I'll take it off. Where am I going to lose? What the hell is this? I've been a dickhead by now. <laughs> <laughs> it's, a, um, what is it? it's a spring loader, but I actually just. Ah, um, OK, I press the button. I actually just destroyed the, um, the string, so there you go. Let's check your friend dickhead these days. Okay, whereabouts is the pain? Is it on the outside? Outside here? Um, it's mainly about there. Okay. It's not too bad. I'm never going to jump up and go, ah, 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 it's killing me. My x-ray vision isn't working particularly well tonight. Oh, really? So we can, well, yeah, we can run you up to the hospital and get an x-ray. All right? I think it's all right. The fact that I can Are do this, sure? I can move my foot oh, that way. Mate, when you've got a bit of on board, it's like an anaesthetic as well. <laughs> okay, so you may not be feeling what your, your full, your full, you know, range of pain is going to be, and you might wake up in a couple of hours' time and be in absolute agony. So you're better off, you're better off going up with us, getting an X-ray, and I'm fine. Um, no, have fun. Like, can you please call? Oh, nice work. Seriously, have fun. Okay, whereabouts is the pain? Is it on the outside? Outside here? Um, it's mainly about there. Okay. Hi, Mum. Blake suffered three broken bones in his foot and was on crutches for six weeks. I'm not going to happily say, you know, without a doubt, that I'm in a job which I like doing. And I think a lot of people can't say that, you know. Thank you, nine six three. We've got a concern for welfare. Mail states his girlfriend isn't answering her phone or answering the door. Nine six three, copy that. Nine six three, yeah, four three, yeah, we call one three. I'm on. Car, but I assumed it wasn't just here on the side. Ah, yeah, first aid kit as well, or what? Hi, how are you going, guys? Someone's got a history of asthma, depression, and all that. Yeah, we've sure. just been out there, we've tried to raise her, um, can't raise her, and the neighbours haven't seen her. All right, can you see inside at all? 
Stephen, this is here. Come over here, Stephen. We just want to have a chat to you. When was the last time you seen her? Friday. Where did you last see her? Here or at your place? No, no. She she rang me. Has she got any friends that she might go and visit or? No, I'm just worried about her. You worried about her? I suppose you're a key. Mm -hmm. Right. What relation are you to her, Stephen? Are you her boyfriend? Yeah. Stephen, there's no sound from inside the unit. The unit is locked. We can't just go kicking doors in. All right, we no, need a bit no. more information. Yeah. Do you think that she might have hurt herself? All right, OK. Yeah. So how was she on Friday when you spoke to her? Yeah, she seemed fine. She seemed OK? Well... Yeah. Do you normally speak to her every few days? or yeah. Are you still going out, or what's going on? Yeah, on a regular basis. Does she have a mobile or a home phone number? Yeah, I'll give them all that. And you've tried her on all them? Yeah? Okay. And what do you get, mate? Nothing? Or just a, a voicemail? Or... No, just ringing out, mate. Just ringing out. Alright. Mate, if I get approval to keep the door in, are you able to secure the premises afterwards? Mate, she'll, yeah? she'll verify that. So, we're going to kick the door in. Steve, you just stay in here for us, mate. We'll come and let you know what happens, okay? Yeah. <laughs> we can activate rescue and get rescue coming. Ready? Does it look like it's yellow? Oh, yeah. It's the top one. Yeah. Mm. Don't love that. Come on. Yeah. Yeah. I need to be able to hold that. No. Yeah. Yeah. Are you crazy? Yeah. I won't kick your hand. I won't kick your hand. There you go, you bounced off that one. I took it one, took it. There you go. There you go. You get the bill. 963, cancel rescue, we've gained access. Let's go before she gets home. The informant's just said she may be at her mother's too, so. Oh, Steve, you want to just come up? She's not there, mate. She's not there. The police just want to talk to you. Yeah. yeah. Just go up to her unit and I'll have a chat to you. I loosened it. You loosened it? The copper loosened it. You didn't even make a bunch. When you kicked it, I kicked it. It's one that kick of mine that loosened it. You hit it like a fairy out of Amelia's guard. If you don't get in, you've got to kick the door. Got rid of a whole lot of frustration now. Did you? I should be right for the whole night now. <laughs> I loosened it. <laughs> Worst? Um, probably seeing young people um, die. Uh, especially in car accidents or, you know, pedestrians or whatever. Uh, so probably that probably trauma due to you know, young people passing away. But there are other things that are very rewarding in this job. Just being able to say they're going to be OK. They're not going to die to, to somebody's relatives, OK? Or, you know, we've got them back. They're going, you know, their heart's beating again. Oh, definitely childbirth, you know? Hopefully, you know, uh, once that goes smoothly, childbirth. I mean, that'd be the best one. Thanks, 923. Got a mother giving birth to twins. 946 is already on scene. One child has been delivered. They're having trouble with the second one. 923, I'll get you to speak to 946 on their portable. Steve, Dave, we're having some problems here. Uh, second baby test out, however, the membrane hasn't popped. Do you have highways that I think of? 963, just a Horsley Drive and Hume Highway now. Copy that, they should be two minutes long, Dad. Another ambulance officer right. coming okay, in. Okay, listen, darling. Let the mother push when she's ready okay. to push. Do you think you can feel a contraction coming on? Okay. Push. Okay. Feel like you need to push? Go if you're ready body. to push. Everybody, if you feel like you need to push, let's push. Okay, that's ready. That's the way. That's it. Beautiful big push, the ladies say. Beautiful big push, that's it. That's the way. Excellent. Oh, yay. It's still wrapped in the bag. The baby's in it. We're going to have to break the bag. Just wait, just calm down. Just calm down. Where's the scissors? Yeah, that's it. Yep. One person. Just tell her, baby's out. Okay. Want to. Cut the cord. cord. The baby's not breathing. Our priority at the moment is to resuscitate the child. We want to bag the ventilator. Are we able to get another car, please? Just oh. running. Sorry. 
There's nothing. Somebody starts APR. Yep. Okay. We got suction. Is it? Is it? Is it? Is it? All right. You ready? Yep. Just get in the car. Just go. Go. Is that? Bit more lights. Right. You're right everything. there. Just nice and slow. Right, yeah. Now we got the smaller yeah, mark. We just need your hand for a sec just to grab us the... We need the right. very ben, smallest just three Just mark. stop CPR. Let's just have a look. Smaller mass. Ben, yeah. get a stethoscope out mm -hmm. and see if you can oh, feel sorry. the heart. But where's that mask? I just got it for you. Then. All right. Okay. So the heart's bombing, is it? Can we get a monitor on, please? All right. Sorry, mate. We're going to Bankstown, I believe. We are. All right, thanks, mate. Well, maternity at this stage. All right. Ben, we've got a recording. I can't imagine how that poor mother's feeling. They normally come out breathing. It's so bittersweet when one's breathing, one's not. <laughs> Okay, I can feel the heart. Have we got a recording, Ben? It's a good heartbeat, yeah. Good heartbeat? Good heartbeat. Alright. Alright, mate, just nice and slow. We're just gonna have a go at tubing, that's all. Actually, it's gonna be too dangerous on the move. Mate, just when you get a chance, just pull over to the side. We're just gonna have a quick look. We're just doing a couple of things, alright, mate? Alright. Sorry, man. Excuse me. No, Ben, I can't. I don't want to. We're going to break your jaw. I don't need to see. All right, mate, when you're right, what I do, I suction her out a bit. Oh. Oh. Yes. What we'll do, we'll go straight to maternity. Is it a girl or a boy, Ben? A girl, I think. A girl. Stop that suction. You're going to need all options. Have a look at its colour, Ben. How does the colour look? Pink? Not too bad. Yeah. Oh. No, she's breathing herself and she's moving her limbs, she's moving her legs. Moved in, she basically put her on top of here, away from us. You just turn the monitor so I can see him, Ben, please. Tough. All right, we're going to suction out again. All right. Oh. Can you just put your thumb on it, please, Ben? Sorry, sweetie. Okay, thank you. Nice yeah. and slow. Nice and slow. Both twins and mother are healthy and well. Next week, another night in the life of a paramedic providing help.